Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks. Well, happy Monday, and here we go, all back at it. And I tell you what, we've got some good rain chances on the way as we go through this work week. We've also got some temperatures that are trending down. This good news forecast that we were essentially teasing at the end of last week. Uh, well, we are going to be enjoying it. In fact, we've already had some rain out there this morning, but unfortunately, if you were maybe up around sunrise this morning, you saw a pretty decent push of rain coming in from the west, and you more than likely thought that was going to make its way right on into the Metroplex. But uh, again, kind of surprisingly, as it approached the 35 corridor, it basically dried up, and we've had some very light showers here in the Metroplex, but uh, again, don't worry. We've got an even better opportunity of rain and storms coming up as we get into tonight. We're going to talk about that coming up. And then, like I mentioned, the rest of this really good news forecast through the rest of your work week. But right up around 87, 88, that's my forecast at high. Uh, we'll have some lingering shower opportunities through about noon. Rain probabilities through the afternoon don't go down to zero. We'll put it at about a 30% shot. But then I tell you what, by midnight tonight, rain probabilities, well, they definitely come back up right here in the Metroplex. Again, more on that coming up. But this is where we started the morning. These were the morning lows out the door here. And again, some improvement as well. In fact, take a look at some of those mid to even some lower 60s off to the northeast. Again, a lot of folks were in the 60s to right around 70 again here in the Metroplex. Speaking of the Metroplex, here were our morning lows as well. Uh, you can see that pretty decent little uh, smattering there of 60s, uh, like I mentioned, to right around 74 officially at DFW. Now, here's the rain I was talking about, right? This was a decent shield of rain. It came in from the west. And again, for our friends out in our western counties, this amounted to about a half an inch of rain. And again, a half an inch is just perfect because if you got a heavy rain, again, the ground is so parched that it's going to have a hard time receiving or soaking up that water, right? Uh, so most of it would have ran off. So this was a good, gentle soaking rain. And again, there was some embedded thunder and such out there as well. Uh, but again, that was really best case scenario. This is what it looked like on radar. But again, you can see it made good progress through our western counties. But look at what happened as it began to approach the 35 corridor. It hit some drier air and basically dried up. So again, even though we did have a few very light showers in the Metroplex, the activity is still decaying. So there's still a few showers possible through the morning. But again, by and large, this morning, it's essentially for the Metroplex a swing and a miss. But we have another impulse coming down and that blue line right there, that is a cold front, by the way, that is also inbound for tomorrow. So again, these weather pattern changes continue. And again, as I mentioned, we'll continue to detail that out as we go through the hour. So you can see the dip coming through right now. One disturbance there, okay, it gave us the opportunity of rain and storms this morning. Here's another one, though, you can see riding down for tonight. And by the way, behind that, we have several additional storm systems stacked up all the way out to the Pacific. So as I mentioned, as we go through the rest of your work week, things are going to remain active. So the opportunity of severe weather, not so much in North Texas. It's not impossible, especially overnight tonight, that we have a storm that maybe has some gusty winds, maybe a warning or two, can't be ruled out, but I don't see any organized severe weather. Now, this evening, I think it's going to be a different story out in the big country, out in the rolling plains. Could be some organized severe weather again out there. Of course, we'll track that carefully. And then as that activity moves in overnight tonight, first thing tomorrow morning, again, right now from the Storm Prediction Center, we'll just put on some strong. Again, there could be some, again, thunder. There could be some lightning. There could be some winds up to 40 miles per hour. But again, the bottom line is just not seeing much in the way of that organized severe weather threat. Now, even as we go through the afternoon, by 5 p.m., there could be a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms around. So through the afternoon hours, it's not a 0% rain probability. But this is what I'm tracking carefully. You can see as we get into tonight, here comes another impulse and that comes rocketing through the area, offering that opportunity of heavy rain, vivid lightning, and again, by midnight, that will be moving into the Metroplex. So daytime highs, generally in the 80s today, a few 90s peppered in here or there, there are the ending rain chances. Again, that basically has to do with the morning activity uh, that, again, is currently drying up right now. So if you do have any kind of Monday evening plans, we'll put your rain probability right around 30%. Temperatures in the 80s, a much more comfortable evening for sure. Uh, overnight lows in the 60s, a little cooler out to the west, again, as that next round of rain and storms moves in. And there's your rain probabilities for tonight, more likely, especially in our western counties. And then take a look at that, more 80s as we get into tomorrow, Tuesday. So we're talking about 80s, even talking about some 70s for daytime highs Wednesday and Thursday.